To make this crochet balloon, you're going to need yarn, a crochet hook, a yarn needle, hobby fuel and some scissors. To start your balloon, make a magic ring. Into the magic ring, do six single crochet. Close the magic ring by pulling on the tail. For row 2, we're going to do an increase into each of the 6 single crochet. At the end of this row, you will have 12 stitches. For row 3, we're going to do a single crochet into each of the first 3 stitches and then an increase into the 4th stitch. Repeat this pattern all the way around and at the end of this row you will have 15 stitches. For row 4, do a single crochet into each of the first 4 stitches and an increase into the 5th stitch. Repeat this pattern all the way around and at the end of this row you will have 18 stitches. For row 5, do a single crochet into each of the first two stitches and an increase into the third stitch. Repeat this pattern all the way around and at the end of this row you will have 24 stitches. For rows 6 through to 12, do a single crochet into each stitch so that at the end of each row you will have 24 stitches. In row 13, we're going to start to decrease. So do a single crochet into each of the first two stitches and then we're going to decrease into stitch three and four. To decrease you want to go through the front loop only of stitch three and stitch four, then yarn over, 
pull it through both those loops and yarn over and pull it through. Repeat this pattern all the way around and at the end of this row you will have 18 stitches. You can now add some stuffing to your balloon. For row 14, do a single crochet into each of the first 4 stitches and then a decrease into stitch 5 and 6. Repeat this pattern all the way around and at the end of this row you will have 15 stitches. For row 15, do a single crochet into each of the first 3 stitches and a decrease into stitch 4 and 5. Repeat this pattern all the way around and at the end of this row you will have 12 stitches. You can now add a little more stuffing to help fill out your balloon. For row 16, do a decrease into each stitch. You might need to squeeze the work together just to help as it does get a little bit tight. At the end of this row you'll have six stitches. For row 17, do a single crochet into the first stitch and then do an increase into the second. Repeat this pattern all the way around and at the end of this row you will have 9 stitches. Thank you. 
To finish off the balloon, we're going to do a slip stitch. So go through the next stitch, yarn over and pull it through, and then pull it through the stitch. You can now cut the yarn. Now pull the yarn through and pull on the yarn to tighten. Using your yarn needle, we're going to go through the next stitch just to put the yarn through the middle. You can either leave the yarn hanging loose or you can tuck it back up into the work and use wire to attach it to your project.